South Carolina? North? Ohio. It, oh. is, it is. Are uh, you guys getting hit? Uh, we're, we're getting... Some rain is coming in now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's... But it doesn't look like we're going to get anything major. Well, that's good. I, I know some places are already getting snow. Like, there is... Uh, Colorado got snow. Um, Kansas is getting snow. Or southern part of Kansas. So I was wondering if it was, like, trending up. It looks like it is. Um, but it looks like it's, it's weaker as it's coming up. Thank God. Yeah. All right, we are, we are, yeah, we are live. This is Kyle with WMMA Fighters, and I have uh, Julia, the Raging Panda, Avila with me. How you doing, Julia? I'm more like the Running Panda right now. Yeah, yeah literally, <laughs> literally on a treadmill right now. Yep. Uh, which is awesome. So that's a that's a fighter's life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squeeze it in when I can, especially since I work a full-time job. I'm like, oh, get to work out. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been a little while, and you've been incredibly busy uh, with with, uh, with a lot of fights, and obviously you're busy with, like you said, your full-time job and everything. So how, how's everything been going? Good. Um, so after my last bout with um, under Invicta, I had to have surgery on my finger. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a break. <laughs> A lot of people think it was a break. Even the doctors thought it was a break. And I walked in, and I'm on the stretcher. I'm like, look, I didn't break my finger. It dislocated and popped out. Mm -hmm. And the doctors were like, okay, okay, okay. X-rays came back, and they're like, well, here's your medical degree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know my body. And um, at that point, they had given me, like, some, some painkillers and stuff. And so they were like, um, or I, I was a little... <laughs> Loopy, and I'm like, you know what it is? It's yoga. I know my body. <laughs> yeah, I was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean. But um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so good. after that last bout, um, I had another fight uh, under a local promotion, um, the same promotion that I fought Nico under, mm -hmm. and um, I won that in a minute twenty-one. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Two minutes thirty-one seconds. Right. And. That was a knockout against Ashley Dean. And now I'm stepping, like, quick turnaround, stepping in with uh, Alexa Connors. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, under the Invicta flags. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, yeah, that was that's, that's going to be a great matchup. And I'm pretty sure, so watching Invicta 31, um, when the Invicta 32 card came up after the first fight, I'm pretty sure I sent you a message immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after seeing that, so... Yeah, that was that was really exciting. That that's a great a great card to be on. You got the featherweight title on the line. Um, I think Alexa Connor yeah. would be a good matchup. Yeah, that's going to be really fun to watch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. Um, go ahead. ahead. Oh no 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 no. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask. Um, how do you how are you feeling about uh, matching up with Alexa and? Um, you know, do you, do you feel that you need, I don't know if the word is uh, redemption or you just feel like um, what happened at your last Invicta fight doesn't really matter going into this? So, obviously it does matter because it mm -hmm. it's, it's a loss on my record. And people are going to look at that, but anyone that knows anything about me or my record knows that that really isn't a loss. Like, right. it was a fluke. <laughs> happened. You couldn't plan for something like that to happen. So, um, you know, it sucks, but I I don't need to redeem myself. Like, I know what I'm worth, and I know my value. Um, this fight against Alexa, I think, is a better matchup. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's going to be way more difficult. She's really prepared because she knows um, she knows me, and she has been able to see my and especially coming off of this win with um, with Ashley. Um, I think she's going to be a little bit more prepared for what I have to offer. Yeah. So okay. it's good. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I know she comes from a really strong camp, um, and her teammates are all really strong competitors. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, yeah, you should be. And uh, yeah, I know. 
Redemption probably wasn't the best word, but I couldn't really think of something else. <laughs> no, for sure. Say. Sure. I, and like, I totally understand that. Um, uh, but I, I don't know. I, I think that is the most appropriate word to use. Okay. I need to validate myself. Right, right. Well, yeah, it was it was very disappointing, um, but you know, you you've, you've you came back and um, like I said, just a good thing it wasn't broken. It was it was a pretty bad injury, but it, it happened. You know, I mean, that's just part of it. And now it looked like you were trying to hide the injury so you could keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, in in the video um, and the way I remember it, I was messing with my finger because I thought it had just dislocated. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I pop it back into place. I look down, see my bone. I switch stances to try to keep fighting. <laughs> the ref looked over and he saw my, my bone sticking out. He's like, no! <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, guess that's it. Right. Um, I don't get squeamish. I, you know, blood is blood, whatever. You can... If something gets dislocated, you just pop it back into place and you right. keep going. <laughs> um, I split my eyebrow open and I left that off too. Mm. <laughs> it's just injuries happen. And if I can, I will continue. Mm -hmm. It takes an act of God <laughs> to stop me from pursuing what I wanted to do. And at that moment, I wanted to kill her. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the act of God was the rest. <laughs> right, right. Okay, or, yeah, or else we would be having this interview through plate glass. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's great, though. I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, like you mentioned, your fight, two, two and a half minutes, you know, you come back and uh, go out there and have just an awesome showing. Uh, you look to be in killer shape. I mean, you're always in killer shape. Um, Thank you. So the... Uh, that Invicta thing, I mean, you just kept kept working, right? I mean, obviously, you can only do so much with, with your hands. So, um, that Friday, my finger dislocated. I had mm -hmm. surgery Saturday morning, um, the wee hours of Saturday morning, so like 2 a.m. Um, by Sunday, I was driving back and resting, getting the drugs out of my system, mm -hmm. fingers and stuff from the surgery. And then Sunday, I was up and working out, hitting the bag with my right arm. Wow. So, <laughs> I don't really take time off ever if right. I can, if I can help it. Well, I, I want, you know, I, I want to address something real quick because I, I think you're one of the toughest fighters. And, you know, a lot of people, just because of how they are, I mean, you are, you are not, um, or you are extremely confident in yourself and you should be. And you are not cocky by any means. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what you can do. And I know it doesn't matter, but um, do, do you ever take, um, you know, people come up to you and like, oh, you're, you're cocky, whatever, you're going to get knocked out, or, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like trolls. But like I said, it, the conversations <laughs> we've had, you know, it's not that way. It, it, it just, yeah. But I, I could imagine how some people would probably question it. So, um, I haven't had that yet. Mm -hmm. um, I really try to choose my words carefully so it doesn't mm -hmm. come off as cocky, more so just confident. Um, because in a sport, you do have to have some sort of confidence. If I go in there questioning myself, then I'm going to lose, right? right. <laughs> like, yeah. I've already set myself up for failure. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm not going to do that. So, I haven't had anyone troll me yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... I am prepared for it. Uh, I have thought about this because I don't want to come off like that person. Um, I want to meet the woman that tests me. I want to shake her hand, and if she knocks me out, I'm going to wake up and go, that was good. Teach me. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I just want to be a good competitor, and I expect the same from other people, and I expect them to have the same sort of confidence. Mm -hmm. So, no, I haven't had trolls yet, but I'm sure that they will come. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's just, you know, I just wanted to bring that up because um, just the, the average fan is not all that smart. 
<laughs> I'm just I'm just being honest about it, you know, and and it's just just knowing you and talking with you before, I mean that that is not the the vibe you put off by any means. So yeah, you have to be you've gotta be confident. You have to believe in yourself. That is that is yeah. so huge. You know, that is huge. And you should look at losses like that. And I think that's one of the best things because you know, anytime you lose you can easily throw a fit and freak out and you know, go hide under a rock somewhere but you don't. You know, and right. you take it in stride and and you see, you know, what can I gain from this? Because it's still experience. Yeah, for, for sure. And, um, you know, I people don't believe me, but um, one, I'm one of the laziest people in the world. <laughs> Two, um, I lose. <laughs> See, you don't believe me. Um, no, I'm, I'm really, truly lazy. Uh, two is I fail a lot. And so I know how to fail. Every day I go into practice, I put myself in bad situations. I get my butt whooped by my teammates because I need to know how to solve that issue, that problem. So when I do perform, I don't fail, right? So it's all these little failures adding up for my success. So I'm confident because I failed so much in my past, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully it does. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I'm... You know, I, I wish I learned that lesson earlier, you know, you, you, because it's like, wow, I'm just a failure. But when you sit and think that, you know, there's reasons for it, right? You're, you're not going to be great at everything, um, but you got to put everything you got into everything. And if you fail, you should learn just as much if you succeed, um, yep. some, sometimes more, I think. And, yeah, that's the thing, you know, being a fighter... Your your quote unquote failure right is is in front of you on your record sheet you know so a loss could be looked at as a failure right but I think the true failure yeah. would be kind of running away or whatever um, yes you know and I totally agree with that yeah. wholeheartedly and that that's what that's what separates the good from the great I think uh, especially in this sport I think in, in all sports but especially in this one because it's a one on one sport so that yep. that really puts the line in between the two um so yeah you, you've been incredibly busy so you look into you know we're we're already halfway through october which is crazy um i know so are you looking to um have another high octane year next year in 2019 uh hopefully yeah. um yeah i told my mom that um you know depending on how the year goes maybe um Hashtag Baby Bear 2019 would come to fruition, but um, that's not looking like it's coming to fruition. <laughs> um, I might put that off for uh, another year or so. Um, I think my future is bright in MMA, and I, I really want to push myself to see where I can go with this. So, 29 uh, Baby Bear 2020, <laughs> and uh, so. That's when we plan, my husband and I plan on, on starting our family, but for now, it's my focus is my career in MMA, yeah, and yeah. 2019 is going to be a big year for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've had, you've had a really awesome year. Um, it's been a lot of fun to watch, and it's been great talking to you. I, I, sometimes I really hate reaching out because I feel like I'm a bother or whatever. But um, No, 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 you're not. I love talking to you, um, and I love your support. Oh, yeah, always, always and all day. Um, but, yeah, so that, that's awesome. So, you know, Invicta has a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, you know, it would be really great to see that bantamweight division um, – getting really busy you know I would assume that the belt will be on the line again soon um, so it'd be nice to see where, where that ends up so uh, uh, after I get this win I'm gonna ask for a shot yeah, you should you I would should. love I would love to fight Sarah Kaufman I've looked up to her for years mm -hmm. since before I started competing in MMA and uh, I think she's amazing and I would love to test my skill yeah. With her. Yeah, she she's awesome. And and I, I really think that, because, when, when, you know, one thing, when I saw you on there and then I saw, you know, see Alexa Connors, I'm like, okay, that that's a matchup of two 
I, I mean, I, you're both really strong fighters, you know, and I, I think you could easily justify the winner of this getting a title shot, in my yeah. opinion. I mean, I'm not a matchmaker, but uh, the, the bantamweight division and in Invicta is really solid at the top. You know, you, you are at the top, Alexa's at the top, so I think it's easy to sit and say, hey, <laughs> the winner of this one, you know, gets Kaufman. And you're right, Kaufman is, she's tough. You know, yeah. and she's one too that handles things. You know, wins and losses. She handles it all in grace and is just a very uh, respectful person. Yes. You know, she's wonderful for the sport. So that would be a killer matchup. So, um, and boy, I mean, we're what just a month away. You know. Yeah. So you're you're in full prep, I would assume. Oh yeah. Yeah. How's the uh, yeah. how's the weight and all that coming along? Oh, everything's perfect. Everything's ideal. Yeah. Um, I didn't have much of a layoff between my last fight and this one, mm -hmm. or my last camp and this one. So, um, just keep on keeping on. Um, I'm stronger than I think I've ever been. Yeah. And my, I've, uh, I've tweaked some things around, really perfected some of, or worked on perfecting some of my skill sets. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, definitely should be. I mean, like I said this is huge, and that's a that's a killer card to be on. Um, so looking past that, I mean, so I don't know because I know there there will be one in December. I don't know if it'll be January or February, but let's say you win and it happens. I mean, would you you'd be ready to hop right back on the train and get in there? Yeah, God willing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, I. Like I said, I don't take time off, so it's not like I'm going to stop practicing or stop, right. you know, prepping because my life is just a sequence of prepping for right. the next event. So, um, yeah, I mean, if, I, you know, I don't go missing another finger, then mm -hmm. I'd be ready for a quick turnaround. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hide your fingers. Right. Yeah, no kidding. Hide your fingers. <laughs> Hide your fingernails. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, your your husband is a great guy, and he's he's incredibly supportive, and um, you know, he's just he, he's a lot of he seems like a lot of fun to be around too. Now, yeah. So fighters like you and um, Lindsey Van Zant, for example, um, so she took a fight literally on twenty four hours notice. Wow. And won. Yeah. On TKO last night. So. You know, she's one and you're one that always talk about, you know, I'm always training, I'm always training. Well, that's a prime example of what that means, you know, and, and you're one of those fighters. And when you say that, it's 100 percent true. You know, it's not just film. It's, it's 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 your your life, you know, it's your lifestyle. So that that I think I think it if you can do it, I, th I think it really works, you know. And, you know, you, you two especially are prime examples of that. So it's, it's really, really cool to see the, the, the way things have changed in the sport. Now, as far as, um, like, grappling tournaments and things, do you uh, plan on hopping into a few of those as well? Oh, gosh, I would love to. Um, yeah. I've been talking about it with my husband. Uh, we actually do a lot of camps to go learn from other instructors and to travel. Um I've been itching to do another IBJJF competition mm -hmm. um, just because I get to see so many different bodies and I get to see some of the people that I grew up in the ranks with from being a white belt. So um, that'd be really cool. I'm friends with a lot of my opponents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there was, there's a couple girls, like, afterwards it's, or when we see each other at competitions, I go, hey, I'll, I'll see you in finals. Mm. And they're like, heck yeah. <laughs> and, you know, give each other a big hug or after we weigh in, share our food. And Right. I mean, as long as you don't ring a bell around anyone of us, then <laughs> we're totally cool. Right, yeah, yeah, bell is solved. You start throwing down. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, it's strictly friends. business. Yeah. Um, and so, like, I would love to get back into competition for grappling. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. I mean, I can do that in the future after I have kids um, when my MMA career is done. But there's such room for injury that yeah. I just need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are good and bad. 
and you, you just you just hit it on the head. I mean, experience is experience, and but you're not always guaranteed to come out of there somewhat unscathed. That that's the only issue. So, right. Yeah, that's good. That's good to uh, understand that and balance that. Um, so yeah, you know, you, you got you got so much going on, and and th this Invicta card is going to be really exciting. Um, so yeah, you definitely are. Are there some other fighters that that you'd love to get in there with? Um, I would just to train. I would love to train with Pam Bam Sorson. Yes, Sor Sorson. She's amazing, and I follow her, and we've become friends on like social media and yeah. everything. So I'm really looking forward to meeting her in person, and I'm probably gonna fangirl a little bit. <laughs> I actually did the same thing with Sarah Kaufman. And I went to go give her a hug, and she's like, no, <laughs> I don't touch. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, but, I mean, so she turned out and uh, she turned out to be really awesome, obviously, and uh, we have a lot of, uh, like, similar likes. We both like puzzles, so anyways, um, I would love to meet Pam. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, there's actually a lot of Oklahoma girls. Mm -hmm the card so I'm really excited to just share this stage with them yeah um just you know local local heroes I guess <laughs> yeah. yeah it's awesome that it, it is in Oklahoma City right Oklahoma City it's uh, well Shawnee, Shawnee Oklahoma that's right right yeah but yeah. it's not that far from here right yeah that, that'll be that that's going to be killer that, that that should be a really good venue um yeah I was excited yeah. to see that it was the venue that I fought in with Ashley Dean oh, and nice there was not a bad seat in the house. Mm -hmm. It was packed, and it was just wonderful, and just, it, it was great. It was a really, really good venue, so I'm really excited to uh, sell it out a couple times over. Heck yeah. Yeah, I looked at the uh, the, the seating arrangement there, and it, it is, you're right, I mean, there isn't a bad seat, and the tickets are incredibly reasonably priced, too. So oh, yeah. That's one of those things. If you can get there, you need to get there. But yeah, Pam, Pam Sorensen's awesome. So I, I talked to her a little while ago, and, and I, I kind of fangirled out a little bit, too. <laughs> so. Yeah, she just seems like a riot to just chill yeah, with. It, it was it was a good time. Yeah, we, we had been trying for a long time to get something set up, you know, but obviously title shot and all kinds of things. But yeah, it was really cool, you know. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, I, I love watching. Uh, so you you train at Genesis every once in a while, right? Yep, every Friday I make the drive down. Yeah. And uh, we turn around and come back up. Yeah. How how far is that for you? It's a four to six hour drive, oh, wow. depending on traffic and weather. Mm -hmm. Um, so it could be twelve hours, the most, mm -hmm. to go down there for two hours, two and a half hours of training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it is. That that's a that that place is really really turning out some some big time fighters right now. And you know, I said it before, kind of your area and Midwest and those places that MMA is booming there. Yeah. And it's definitely definitely the place to be. I yeah, think. we're finally uh, getting the opportunity. Yeah. Definitely, there's some there's some big fighters coming out of there right now, so it's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't want to keep you much longer. Just love touching base with you, and um, really excited that you're you're going to be on the Invicta card. And Yay. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, I know you're going to do well, and um, yeah, you're right. I mean, I would you, you win that one. I, I think that's a that's good enough. I think to warrant a title shot. In my I I think the winner should get it to be honest so, yeah for sure but that, um I, I definitely it feels like it feels like that kind of fight you know what i mean where it's set up to be winner gets the shot i think yeah so. and um i can guarantee this that if i don't win it's gonna be a bloodbath yeah oh yeah it's, it's <laughs> I mean, it, it has um it has fight of the night written all over it um, if not performance of the night or something, it's got something of the night. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I'm. It, so. I, I know that she's a warrior, so yeah. like I'm not gonna. I'm prepping on every single aspect of my game, and it's gonna be so good, yeah. so exciting. Yeah, it, it'll be. It, it could. It, it. I'm expecting it to steal the show, and that says a lot with Sorensen and Spencer as the main event. So. Yeah. All right. Well, have fun on the treadmill. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll get back to running. Thank yeah. you, Kyle. You're welcome. I'll talk to you later. See ya. See ya.
All right, that was Julia Villa from the treadmill. Um, that was a pretty fun interview. She fights in a month from now at Invicta 32. Uh, we have a few interviews this week. I'll drop those names tomorrow. And just looking to keep the interviews coming and the audio shows coming as well. So thanks for being here, and we'll see you again soon.